everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your new shot. So, The Guardian has some artificial intelligence news. Yes, folks, in their tech section, they actually have a subsection for artificial intelligence. It doesn't get much better than that. And they're saying that a new AI can guess whether you're gay or straight from a photograph. That's right. Now there's algorithms that can deduce the sexuality of people on a dating site with up to 91% accuracy, raising, well, tricky ethical questions. It says here artificial intelligence can accurately guess when people are gay or straight based on the photos of their faces, according to new research that suggests machines can have a significantly better gaydar than humans. Imagine that now. Because, see, it'll start with the dating site. But then... You know, for your homophobes out there, why, we can have a homosexual detector. That's right. You know, now you'll have a, your own artificial intelligence in the palm of your hand, or maybe even an implant. Could you imagine? Gadar, the implant. Yeah, I'd say there's some serious eth- ethical questions there. It says the study from Stanford University, which found that a computer algorithm could correctly distinguish between gay and straight men 81% of the time, and 74% for women, has raised questions about the biological origins of sexual orientation, the ethics of facial de- detection technology, and the potential for this kind of software to violate people's privacy, you think, or be abused for anti-LGBT purposes. Because we would never discriminate against anybody, right? Ever. Now, the machine intelligence tested in the research, which was published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, mm, a great read, and first reported in The Economist, was based on a sample of more than 35,000 facial images that men and women publicly posted on a U.S. dating site. Now, the researchers, Michael Kosinski and uh, Yilun Wang, extracted features from the images using deep neural networks meaning a sophisticated mathematical system that learns to analyze visuals based on a large data set. The research found that gay men and women tended to have gender atypical features, expressions and grooming styles, especially uh, meaning gay, uh, essentially meaning gay men appeared more feminine and vice versa. Now the data also intend uh, or identified certain trends, uh, including that gay men have narrower jaws, longer noses, and larger foreheads than straight men. And that gay women had larger jaws and smaller foreheads compared to straight men. I mean, this is what the AI is picking up. Now, human judges perform much worse than the algorithm, believe it or not, accurately identifying orientation only 61% of the time for men and 54% for women. Now, when the software reviewed five images per person, it was even more successful 91% of the time for men, 83% for women. That broadly means that faces contain much more information about sexual orientation than can be perceived and interpreted by the human brain. The paper suggests that the finding provides strong support for the theory that sexual orientation stems from exposure to certain hormones before birth, meaning people are born gay and being queer is not a choice. That's what this study is trying to say. And the machine... Lower success rate for women could also support the notion that female sexual orientation is more fluid. So this is what science is paying for, or we're paying for, today. Hmm. Actually, the University of Toronto. But very interesting. Um, it's like, an, it, here's the thing, it's, it's, a, it's a new tool, Right. And Nick Rule, who's an associate professor of psychology at the University of Toronto, says it's certainly unsettling. Like any new tool, if it gets into the wrong hands, it can be used for ill purposes. Now, he wrote a, uh, (laughs) he published research on the science of gaydar. Again, University of Toronto, a, probably a a state university, (laughs) you know. This is what your tax dollars go for, you know. God forbid they're putting money into some other sort of maybe fruitful, meaningful research. No. We have an associate professor of psychology at the University of Toronto who spent time and money researching the science of gaydar. 
And then we wonder, my friends, why humanity is going to hell in a handbasket faster than ever before. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the Daily Sheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.